are the chosen one. You and only you will carry the saber to the designation point, and there you will insert the saber. That will start the chain reaction that nothing can stop. You are the future and the past and all in between. You are solo. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> a little bit over the top, but uh, thank you. I want to see what you guys think out there about Karens. Well, I, I know what you know about the name, but you know what I mean, don't you? The Femon Karens. There's more and more every day. Of course, there's always been sort of Karens, hasn't there? But the videos on phones has helped us see more of them in their natural habitat. And for me, at least, the closest thing to a Karen I can sort of describe is a spoilt child that obviously has some mental issues. And of course, there's all the excuses for them acting the way they do. Oh, it's PMS or hormonal imbalance. I mean, if you just think about it, if a man acted like these Karens do, the police would come and he'd be arrested. That would be it. And sometimes the police are called under these Karen things, but nothing much is done, is it? And that's because these spoiled children are protected by mummy and daddy, which are usually the police and the government. And if you show other Femons a, a Karen, they usually just basically laugh. They don't actually see it as quite a major problem. And of course the reason is, is that Femons are not really bothered about it if it doesn't affect them. It's only when something affects them personally it's important. And I used to watch some of these Karens just through interest mainly. But there's so many around now I get so tired of looking at these people, humans supposedly, acting in such a disgusting manner. All Femons can be quite unstable at certain times. In fact, they can act crazy, in fact, can't they? But it's good for these Femons to be in good, powerful positions, isn't it? But these Femons do come under a category, really. It's really antisocial behavior, isn't it? I mean, are these Femons, all of them, mentally ill? Or are they just doing it for the drama and to grab attention? And, of course, I do believe that some of these Karens are actually mentally ill and they forgot to take their medication. But it's hard to tell the difference, isn't it? Of course, if they dealt with them like good parents would, these Karens would be immediately arrested and put in for an evaluation of their mental state. And this should be a mandatory two weeks. At the moment, the Karen can cause a ruckus all around her. And maybe the police will come, but nothing will be done. Then the Karen can get on with the rest of her day. But how many other people has she affected with her childish tantrum? But if they put those laws in place, you would notice the Karens lessen very quickly. A lot of the modern Femons are just like misbehaving children, aren't they? With absolutely no discipline. Of course, we're supposed to ignore this type of behavior in the Femon, because of course it doesn't put them in very good light. If it's PMS or hormonal imbalance or whatever they keep on saying they are, a lot of older women are Karens as well. What's their excuse? I mean, let's be honest, guys. They do it because they can. The child will steal from the cookie jar until you catch them and punish them for it. Right. I'm in position. I've got this saber. Now what? Oh, I know. 